welcome to the Let's Play of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets with me, Golden IDS, and me, Heather Snow. Exactly. We decided we did we did have a discussion about doing some other games, but we decided to do Harry Potter too because I don't know what was the reason. The continuation from the first one. Yeah, I kind of. It just makes more sense. And these the, these the old ones weren't that bad. Well, they're a lot better than the um, latest ones, anyway, in my opinion. Well, I think most people's opinion, they're just spanning far too many consoles to be good. And this is a really ugly CG scene in which they will have yellow faces and Japanese. Sick burn. Uh, do you ever I think it was good for the time. Yeah. I think it was good for the time, because I remember when I bought this, because it was one of the first couple of games that I got from a PlayStation 2. And I was amazed by this, completely amazed. The graphics Mind you, I, I was I was young and misled. <laughs> well, they weren't bad by per se. I mean, the gameplay itself isn't too bad, but I mean, this could seem. I mean, that fiery bridge. I don't ever remember seeing a fiery bridge in Hogwarts, but there we go. I don't even remember seeing a fiery bridge in this game. Look at that smug face. That was actually hey. my <laughs> own. What's he doing there? Gassing over Dark Cadaver. Yes, so and welcome. Got gold. Yes, I have a little bit where I think music, turn it up! <laughs> that would explain why it's so loud in my ears at the minute. Oh wait, oh, no, this is after never mind. I, mean. it's, I, I just decide that I like the music. And then I you want say to nah. No, I'm fussy in this song, but I forgot to edit out. Oh, that's a brilliant start. <laughs> <laughs> can see how fussy you are when it comes to games. Oh, hells yeah, I'm far too fussy. But yeah, um, abusing the Harry Potter logo there in every frigging loading <laughs> screen as if we didn't know what game we were playing by the Scar. The Scar. I know, it's like, I don't know. And the little snitch as well. Yeah, that's the old Harry Potter and logo. And the initials. It wasn't really dark and they didn't have, like, I don't know. Glass jutting out from the logo or something. Ah, what a weirdo! <laughs> that car crashes. Ah, it's the welcome to the burrow, Harry. Hi. Yes, welcome to the burrow where I just almost killed you as well. You're my best friend. I'm surprised the brick wall didn't do any more damage than just make the bonnet flip up. Did any of you I can tell you, I try and avoid any brick walls in my car. Yeah, I think anyone would. So, what's your opinion on the voice acting? <laughs> Just as bad as the first one? It's not, actually, I don't think the voice acting is generally awful, it's listenable. But then again, after, after watching some of the film called The Room, or seeing parts of it, I'd have to say the voice acting is infinitely better. He's already got his robes on. <laughs> this is what really makes no sense to begin the game. I'm a little rusty, but aren't you meant to be rusty? Because you're not meant to cast magic outside school, Harry. Who's, exactly. Yeah, who's gonna get in trouble and be expelled? Oh, you. That was the machine from Gamble and Japes. Um, the power of our spells. but it shows. I always feel a bit sorry for him. So poor, he's wearing his school robes already because he didn't have anything else to wear over there. I know. He wears the same. I don't see what the point of that is. What was even in there? Um, it was to practice your flipendo. Oh. oh my goodness. I do like the way Fred and George. Yeah, I do like the way Fred and George go, oh, as well. It's a bit of a joke. Yeah, they're so embarrassed to have him as a brother after that. I yeah. would be. Yeah, we all would be. Up to the point we can steal Hermione from him. Yes, that's old Hermione, <laughs> not new Hermione, because... Yeah. <laughs> so what is your um, opinions of the rememberal function of this game, the ability to size you to end the day whenever you want? Yeah, I quite liked that because it left you the option to run around the castle. And basically do whatever you want until you wanted the day to end and go on to the next level. Yeah. So I remember I spent a while trying to do some side stuff because I couldn't be bothered doing it later on. So I thought I'd get it out of the way first. Yeah, speak. Mind you, speak. it went completely wrong. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> um, I got so lost and I couldn't find what I was looking for that I got so frustrated at the end of the day and never went back to it for a, until the. The last day of term. Oh, I see a rubber duck! Yep, you also see a. Uh, I don't know. Tell me, Harry, what exactly is the 
volume of a rubber duck. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's from the Chamber of Secrets as well. The yeah. film. What's uh -huh. the, <laughs> the um, It's when Harry arrives at the burrow and Mr. Weasley comes in after his um, night shift. Oh, yeah. One thing I should let you know at the beginning of this game, they really do put some Witches and Wizard cards in places which you wouldn't, won't be able to get them later on, so the beginning of this I do get every Witch and Wizard card, and the only real Number need of one. getting cards in this game no. is to extend your health, because trust me, the health extension will help with the amount of health oh, enemies yes, can take off you. Oh yes, it's definitely going to help. We're out in the barnyard. Um, and also, it's best... If you end, it, the, as you saw, we collected Bertie Bots every flavour of beans. Now, what you want to do with those is you want to try and collect as many as possible, but if you get hurt, you lose about eight of them. It's ridiculous. So, really watch out, but you want to try and get 50 before we get to Hogwarts. Or if you don't, there's a brilliant place at Hogwarts you can grind for Bertie Bots beans. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. But we won't let any spoilers loose yet. No, but you just want to do that. You'll see later on. Not by the, probably by the end mm -hmm. of this part, maybe. So yeah, we're fighting a deep I want that washing machine. <laughs> That's um quite destroyed, isn't it? Slightly. Oh watch out Harry's about to get hurt by bubbles. What is this? Pokemon? <laughs> Bubble beam go! There we go. Brilliant timing. Oh, I think that looks like... Almost got it beaten, Harry! Oh, Almost got it beaten in your face the other way. Nice one. <laughs> And there we go. That was a it's fun boss. Steaming it, Harry. I'd love to see that. But um, gosh, you, you look like you need a chocolate frog. Here you go. Oh my god, has he already like been in contact with Lupin? Here, have some chocolate. You look like you need some chocolate. <laughs> it's the Lupin curse. If you notice how everyone's <laughs> skin now looks really, really yellow. And I have no idea why uh, that is. Could you not get that there? <laughs> no. I don't really, never really noticed it to be yellow. No, so you can see it just now. They look. Oh yeah, I see. <laughs> I like something left for dead. <laughs> I've never played that game. I don't like zombies. Oh, it's still much, still much fun just to beat crap out of everything. But speaking of which, have you noticed how Fred George are the exact same model, just with the F and the G replaced? Yes. This was one of my favourite things to do. Seriously, I find it a bit of a pain in the arse. Oh no, I, I kept um, I, I kept going over and over and over and over again until I got my maximum score. Well, I got um, you've got to beat Fred's score to get to get your um to get your last Witch and Wizard cards and the other ones here. So quite easy. Yeah, very easy. The only way you can't do it is if you let it go to the side behind you or just drop it. I remember I, I managed to throw one at Ron by accident. Oh, classic. That's plus five points. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I'm giving out points a lot more in real life now. At the beginning, I, I've, my friends are now on different various points. I actually took about 100 points off someone for just a silly, stupid comment and not getting something I said. I was like, right, there's 100 points, and she got really annoyed. <laughs> so she started trying to create a point system for herself, so I just resulted What are you doing going. here? There was oh. a big red arrow because... Wow, that was quite far. Red arrow? Oh, okay. Yeah, see when you're spinning around, it, there's a red arrow that appears when your um, prone's blocked. Yeah. See? Yeah, that's probably to let you know when to let it go, but you can't really see it. Excellent. The second I think you beat the score. <laughs> Just a tad. Just a tad. Just a tad. Anything can be penetrated with the right tools. Aye. Sorry, that's a line from Bond. I, it, Nightfire, I always just... <laughs> he just fisted on that one. <laughs> it went blind to the side. So much fun just to beat them with Flipendo. It's like, Flipendo, bang! It's a bad day for gnomes in the burrow, isn't it? It is. Right on Harry and his vicious viciousness. Yeah, I can just see the feet poking out. <laughs> Help me! Help me! What exactly are the point? They don't seem to eat anything, do they? Or they just run around in the garden and act annoying? I think they probably eat the grass and stuff, maybe? Or pro probably with berries, but I think their main purpose is to annoy people. Yeah. And look rather ugly. Yes. They look like, they look, they look stitch punk. Like, they look like they're stitch toys. Yeah, they do, actually. 
which is kind of like Stitch what they toys. want to be. Yeah. Have you have you seen the um, dream that I posted on the forum? No, no. Oh no, you need to go check it out. It involves um, one a shop in a shopping centre in Glasgow, and one of my friend's dads um, buys over it, and it's a and it decides to make it a Toy Story based shop. That would be pretty awesome if they made a Toy Story shop. I'd go there. <laughs> it's got this big interactive screen at the back. So remember to check out the forum in the link below. Now we're going to go to bed despite the fact that the sun's not gone down yet. And more chocolate. I'm oh, surprised yeah. they aren't... He was holding that as if it was a baby there. I know. Just with the legs and the arms <laughs> flopping in there. I'm surprised he's like, dead uh, yet. Do I do? Why did you just do that? I get bored and I start spinning around. This is what, this is what I love in the game now, is they've actually got Steve Fry to do the voice. Now for most of you yes. know, Steve Fry is what man I would turn homosexual for, and his, his voice is amazing, so yeah. I think about 90% of the population did not need to know that first part. Yeah, but they did. But they did. Well, they didn't really get much choice now, did they? No, they did. That's exactly, I'm going to give it to them without them knowing. Okay, that's that. <laughs> then he <laughs> fell. That, sounds like the ending of, some, of an obituary of some really old person. And then he yeah. fell. Actually, that's rather cool. And then he fell. That's what it just sounded like there. And then he fell. <laughs> Fair. Oh, another dream that I ha another dream that I had. You know how usually if you have a dream where you die, you're meant to also die or something. Something, or something like that. Inception, you get trapped in your subconscious. Mm. Yeah, I had a dream the other night. It's all in the, it's still all in the form that I got shot in it and died. But am I but the quick rape? You think? Yeah, that was really quick. That was like rivaling on my times. I mean, my times are pretty fast. <laughs> oh. And cutscene time with really dark. This is the thing I don't like about this: is it messes up the capture card because you've got darkness and it's too dark or whatever. Uh. Stating the obvious, Harry. Yes, Captain Obvious. Oh, I love like the way. You are hanging off the edge of a cliff. Uh, yes. You are near imminent death. Well, yeah. I'm. I'm looking for some help. You could die. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Sounds like the paperclip following you around. This is one thing I don't get. If the Ministry performing raids, the last thing you'd want is to be seen dead with this guy, Borgin. You know, come pick up my stuff at my manor, where people will obviously be able to see me. <laughs> yeah. And also, what this, and also, you'll find what, what's in this spell book. I don't understand it. It's, if you guys think about this, he wants to get rid of this item because the Ministry of Magic will find it evil and vicious. Yet this spell is one of the ones which can light up everywhere with magical happiness. And here's Harry looking round, dazed and confused. <laughs> but what's not different? Exactly. At least it's not angsty in this. We get to skip out the angst. Yeah, but at least he talks in this one, actually. True. Like the first one, it was just silence. I Harry Potter is a mute. He did talk a little bit. A tiny bit, whenever he went for pendles! Oh yeah, that was cute. Cute? It was rather cute, yeah. Oh, because his voice hadn't quite broken. It was just cute because it was babyish, babyish and cute. That's the first time I've ever heard you say that. <laughs> it's the quick way to I get out. Have got, that must have gotten frustrating. Yeah, I just thought sod it, I'm going to use the quick way to get out of here. So we're going to learn our new smell, which Draco Malfoy, which, sorry, the Malfoys wanted to get rid of because it would have been illegal. So it's apparently it's illegal to light things with your wand, that's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, hello. Uh, mind if I slip in? Another fun <laughs> line. Oh, bad pun, bad pun. Yeah, what did you just plop into there? I don't know, something or other. Imagine it was just someone coming by. <laughs> well, you can in this. They go, ah, blah, blah, blah. I know, I used to do it all the time. Well, this is the end of this part of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Join us next and time. And we are greeted with an imp. Let's kill it with fire. <laughs>